back again, back again, back again, back again. Time to grind, time to grind. DJ, K Slay, AKA, not your favorite DJ. You already know what it is. Shout out to my homie Big Seven. You are illustrated. You already know how they do it. You know what it is. Funk Flex. Checking out the Time to Grind show. You see me, see how they doing it. Big Seven, I see. Red Man is in the building, man. Tune in to Time to Grind Radio every Sunday. Every Sunday from 9 to 11 with my boy Big Seven. Time to Grind movement is looking real big. Broadcasting live. BKS1 Radio. Let's go, let's give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Turn the music up a little bit, Dre. Turn that beat up. We in the building. Once again, your man, the host with the most, the voice in New Jersey, Big Seven is in the building. Uh-huh. It's your girl, Erin Kelly. Walter Bird 973. And your girl, Bella the Vixen. Adriana. Turn that mic on, baby. Five O is in the building. Oh no, dogs, come on over. We locking y'all up. Nah. Yo, it's going down. We gonna have some fun tonight, man. We got special guest model in the building, Bella the Vixen. How you doing, Mama? Doing fine, thank you. Looking very sassy tonight. Welcome to the show, my love. Giving my co-hosts a run for their money. Say what? <laughs> Let's go there like, hold up. Say what? Say nah, 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 nah. You forget my name on the week. You're going to replace me? First of all, you know me. Yeah, I know I get replaced. Oh, we also have 5 in the building, a.k.a. Mr. Prince Street, Mr. J. I should, I should sit next to him. Yeah, 5 in the building. J, what's good, baby <laughs> boy? I'm good, good man. Thanks for having me again, bro. Hey, come on, man. Hair. You are, uh, what you call that? You are our uh, in-house, you know, like you had the in-house lawyer security. or in-house. She said security. He's trying to play you out. No, not like that's, that. That's good. That's, a sec- that's part-time for him. You know? Yeah, that's part-time. He could do, he could, he could do, he could be my part-time security. And we got DJ Dreezy in the building. What's good, Dre? Hey, what's hey, good? Hey, Dre's in the building. We gonna have some fun, man. We got your boy Chinks Drugs calling in tonight. Oh, he changed his name. My bad. Chinks. The Coke Boy, the Mr. Give a f- about your feelings and couple hitters. Yeah. Moving yeah. out here, he gonna be calling yeah. in later, representing that that Queens, right? Uh huh. Yeah, for our rock, for our rock, stand up. Yep. It's going down, man. Y'all, 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 Chinks fans. We got some Chinks fans in the building. Yeah. You know, what I mean, we need to, we need to uh, get you in that next video. You some like of y'all need to get in that next video. Word. Word. It's going down, man. We also got New Jersey's own. Dump Records will be in the building with his artist Reese Chubb straight out of Philadelphia. Philly stand up. Philly stand up, Philly. man. It's gonna be a beautiful look, man. Let's get this show started. We got the topic of the I can't forget about the topic of the day. No, you can't be. That would make me mad. Who who gonna hit that topic of the day? Adriana. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The topic of the day is why do people have a hard time dealing with prenuptial agreements? Calls. Why do people have a hard we time? Want Why the bird? We want freedom. freedom. We should have had that little drop from Kanye. <laughs> Why you think, uh, Dreezy? I mean, um, Walter. He he seemed like he was ready to go in on that. Well, he I, got some personal I, experience. I, he ready to. I ain't ready to go in. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I've never been married. Uh, man, I think I'm gonna keep it real. My problem with it is that don't even be sexist, Seth. Don't no, do no, it. I, I gotta keep it one hundred with a K. I'm not end. sexist, but women. <laughs> yeah, watch, 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 watch this. Watch that. Listen, say it. make your point, bro. I gotta keep it one hundred with a K at the end. You feel me, one hundred? You feel me? But I'm gonna get into why after we come back uh-huh. from after this. I'm waiting. Hot joint right now. We'll be right. Hang out with us. Call us up six four six two three three nine seven. 1302. Oh, I said She's about seven. to say 777. Seven, seven. She's about to. <laughs> Are you serious? Let's go. We here. Time to ground radio. BKS1. Let's go. Miss Nana. No Kelly. New exclusive Miss Nana. Shout out to K Slay and Walla Hot 97 for breaking this on Hot 97. We moving out here. Let's go, baby. No Gilly. DJ Dre Slay on the ones and twos, let's go! Yeah. 
second I was thinking like just give up To my girl scissor call me like what though I your flyers up go and try your luck Just for thinking we was even tired of up You said your buzz on fire Well if that's true then tell me how you know me And I don't know you Or tell me how you spit piss but it sound like boo Matter of fact Hold on, hold on, Dre. Stop the presses. Y'all don't understand what's going on with this Jersey movement out here, man. Nook Illustrated, Tom the Grind, BKS1. This new Miss Nana was just broke on one of the biggest radio stations in the world, Hot 97. Shout out to DJ K Slay, stand up. Uh huh. Shout out to DJ Wala, stand up. Mm -hmm. I love my hype girl. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> Holla! Yo, we moving Jersey out here, stand. man. Jersey, stand up. This is the new single for Miss Nana. Uh -huh. Meek Mills on the hook. Look out for that video coming soon. Hola, hold hola. up. Let's go, baby boy. You're now walking with Miss Big Nana. Hola, hola. It's on time to grind <laughs> radio. If you don't grind, you don't shine. And I was thinking like, just give up To my girl, scissor call me like, what though? I your flyers up, go and try your luck Just for thinking we was even, tired of up You said your buzz on fire, well if that's true Then tell me how you know me And I don't know you or tell me how you spit piss But it sound like boo Matter of fact, that don't even sound like you Do I smell a van full of quiz? Tell your man we ain't feeling this Y'all need to do some voiceovers They tell you leave your body and bring your voiceover I'm here to build a new art Like that boy no I am so futuristic And in the class by myself Like two the kids get Stay disturbing your peace Like Luda Chris did an entrepreneur About to get you the business Can't wait to get my cameo in the video baby It's going down The video gonna be crazy man Let's go to the phones right now I hope it ain't no rapper man Let's hope it's for the topic of the day, man. Y'all know what it is. Time to grind radio. You live. Topic of the day is. What's good? This is what? This is Mr. Words reporting out of Atlanta. What's good with y'all? What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? I'm, I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good, baby. I can't complain. We all up here chilling. Hit him with that topic of the day. We got a topic of the yeah, day the, for you, you son. You got to hit this topic. So the topic is, why do people have a hard time with prenuptial agreements? Um, why do you think? Possibly because... You know what a prenuptial agreement is? I, I was just going to say that. He let him answer. I think he knew. He, I think he knew. No, no, no. Just let him, let's let him go through. Oh, hold on. I, I got y'all. But, like, like, really, I came in to spit my bars, now, I mean? But no, I got this intellectual first. degree about me, so I'm going to answer y'all a question. Okay. Um, I don't think that the people who have problems with it, they don't think the marriage is going to last. So they thinking, okay, I'm going to marry the church with money. It ain't going to last. <laughs> That's so a good end, one. I like I'm that. I'm going to get half of that. And it's what you, you think majority it. of men or women feel that way. Oh, here he go. Um, sexy. See, what you trying to do is set me up. See, Thank I'm you. Not, <laughs> you ain't not answering it. I got Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Don't Don't fall for it. it. It's unanimous, bro. I got trust issues right there from the beginning. But how do I spit? How do I spit like a quick 16 for y'all? Like at 1030. 1030. Call back in at 1030. We just sent it out early so you'll be prepared. 1030, all right? Let's take one more. I'm keep hanging up on people. Let's get back into the music, man. We here at Tom Ground Radio. We in the building. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, man. I've been trying to take this they know me when it's go time. They know my mind is a gold. Uh. I coach the culture within my own line. Sometimes Call us up 646-233-1302. So obsessed with finesse. I could care less who a critic says best. Peers, word to quest. The beard is like a tribe, but my drummer's like quest. 
See, I do it for the love, but I'ma get this check. Do you make paper records just step in the building? We about to get crazy, y'all jersey stand the fuck up. Yeah. If y'all know our topic of the day, call us up right now, 646-233-1302. Now walking with Big 7 and friends on Time to Grind Radio. If you don't grind, you don't shine. My head on another planet, I'm so out of this world. My soul lifted to God, He gon' bless these words. God is good, came up baby. From the dungeons, I'm straight from those curbs, trying to get my life together. I'd have been through so much weather, now I'm coming with this storm, nigga. My surf gear says everything. I was blessed with my true music family. I created this, and we doing things. If I'm still sitting, then I'm gone. Shout out to everybody in the chat room. I see y'all, man. I, I see what y'all saying winner. about BET I promise I'll be like my father, build me a foundation, my own home. I done slept in the park, so embarrassing. So when you see me get my head bent, you don't know the shit that I did. So please don't judge me. Cause my temper is untamed You mess with me or your spirit of doubt Will be the end of your days That's why my friends are imaginary True music, yeah, we blood related It's crazy how this boy from East 7 Mile Almost famous, I told Right here called Numbers by Double Robin the Great. We see you, homie. Let's go. Time to grow radio. We moving. Hey. Hold up, hold up. Speaking of numbers, we definitely need to get this straight right now. I'm against prenuptial agreements. You feel me? I feel like the women is out here trying to get the money. The majority of men got the majority of the money. And the women know all they bring into the table is sex. It's some, it's some pocketbook. It, yeah, it's what? It's some pocketbook. It's a pocketbook? Yeah. Yeah, some man. All they, they bring some pocketbook. No, they want a pocketbook. That's because it's like if you if you study the game right now, out of out of a hundred rich people, how many of them is men? What about J Lo and Casper though? That's the exception to the rule. You feel me? The majority. Or Oprah. <laughs> Oprah probably got more money. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. Probably. She got more money than all hundred men you counting right now. <laughs> hey hey hey, Jess. Let me let me ask you, bro. If, if if you met a woman and she was like and you were sitting on. Drake, turn it down a little bit, bro. 
DJ Dre Schley. He got the music super loud over yeah. there. So let me ask you this. If you had a young lady and you was about to marry her, you were sitting on $200 million and she was sitting on $200. Oh. And she wanted to do a prenup with you saying if she would stay with you for five years, she get 25%. Would you do it? No. Definitely not. Nah. But what about the love? What if you really loved her? She was giving you a substantial amount of vigorous. She was making love to you every <laughs> night. She was pregnant with she your still kid. Still ain't worth that. I think she just got to believe that I'm going to take care of her if things don't go right. I can't just part with my money like that. If I made that money it's mine. before we got together like that, I can't give it up. It's but mine. behind every great man is a great woman. So Definitely. If, if the foundation is built from the bottom and she there, it's a difference. Yeah. You know, it's not every woman is is out there to get your money. So let's just not say that. But no woman wants a broke man either. So you know, let's just say. I seen a lot looking for that alimony. I wouldn't wanna. Open. You know what? If a man wanted to do a prenup with me, I, that's fine with me. Let's leave out what we both came in with. That's cool. You're but if we would no, no, I'm, I ain't broke now. Listen, but if we had no, but if he had money, he, if he accumulated money during the marriage with me, then yes. I'm not saying I want half, I'm on all, but he can at least take care of what I'm used to. That's it. I just need maintenance fees. That's all. Bella, what you, what you, what you feel about it? You, wow. Let's say if you met. Maintenance. You're telling the truth, y'all. If you met DJ Dre Slay over there, you met Dre. All right. He, you had $100 million in your stash. All right. He came in with 50000 He wanted to do a prenup. Basically saying he going to get a percentage of your money once y'all break up and he want that monthly. What's that, alimony? Monthly alimony. alimony. Yeah. Would you do it? The prenup nah. ain't ain't the alimony. Alimony is separate. The prenup is just part of the, the, the agreement. Income, the money. See? Yeah, it's that money. That should be included, right? Then when you got kids involved, that's a whole yeah. different. Yeah, when kids come in, child that's, support. That's support. See, in the state of California, they automatically get 50%, like 50, 50, 50, so. I, I, I don't like those rules. I, I actually like. think a woman made that rule up, the 50, 50, the any percentage. Well, I think about like the housewives, though. There's a lot of housewives that live in L.A., so if she doesn't work, she's taking care of the kids. She's making sure that the house is maintained. There's groceries. There's your, your clothes always is clean. That stuff they're going to have to do anyway. Yeah. Women going to have to do anyway. 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 We don't have this to do that. women do. Well, no, 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 no. This is it, not. We don't have to do that. We it, choose to. About that. that super rich money ain't gonna be no housekeeping from the wife. Exactly. Anyway. She talking about when we was back in the project days. When right. We, you know what I mean? Like we can't count that, and you had to do that anyway. You feel me? So I'm gonna keep it real, y'all women out there. Please stop that. Stop setting these men up. Yo, I'm I'm gonna sit back. Yo, I'm gonna sit back and let you rant. Yeah, hey, hey, get him. I'm gonna sit back and let you rant. Go ahead, sir. Go I'm like. No, See, let it all out. Uh, all right, that's wrong. Are you done with I that? Hear her. I want to hear her. Because <laughs> no. I, I, honestly, I think you're wrong for several, several, several reasons that you're attacking women for these things. Okay. And you have a daughter. Don't you have two? I have two what daughters. Two. I told them, listen. Two. We against two. any man money. They going to have their own money, so they ain't going to worry about it. They're going to tell them he ain't getting none of their money. Two. So y'all fathers out here got to make sure y'all do this, getting why, that money. Why, 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 why are you... Just so what if a man wanted to give a favor? No, no, no. Okay, but what if, what if, okay, Nana was she at? Boom. Okay, and then some, some little dude was like, "Yo, Nana, whatever." She like, "All right, well, let's." Do if he came to her and wanted to do a prenup, and was like, "All right, well, you know, you got what you got, I got what I got." You leave what you came out with. What you gonna say? No, that's cool. That's cool. cool for that one. All right, yeah. and what if he said, that's cool. "I'm not that's giving cool. you nothing." <laughs> In, in nothing, even if we was together for that's 10 cool. years. I'm cool for that. I'm, that's I'm cool. cool with that. That's cool. What you? All right, what if she got a kid with him? Yours is yours and yours is mine. That's it. Or what if she want to protect herself and he don't want to sign a prenup? Protect herself, huh? No, I'm with that. Protect no, what if he don't you want said, to sign a prenup? Did you hear what you said? Did you hear what you said? You said protect herself. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> protect. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. sound right. Well, she, I'm, I'm not even sorry, I'm call us call us up right now let us know how you feel are you for the prenup would you feel a problem with it call us up 646 matter of fact i spoke a little too early let's take this caller right now caller from the 845 what's our topic of the day topic is why do people have a problem with prenuptial agreements hello caller from the 845 hello yes hi how are you 
Hey, what's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Good, good. Um, so the topic, did you hear the topic? No. Nah, I didn't really hear it like that. Okay. Can you repeat it for me, please? Yes. It's why do people have a problem with prenuptial agreements? Because they're not true to themselves, you know? Did that what repeat oh, that? Mean, true. <laughs> I thought what? it was legal. Like, no, I, I think you call them on show. <laughs> They're not true to themselves. True I'm confused. Themselves. Yeah, like, they gotta be about that life, right? You feel me? They gotta have exactly, swag. Right. You feel me? He said it's yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have an ounce in their pocket. Huh? Of that one friend that, that's just way <laughs> too high that just doesn't understand. You ask them a question, they're like, "Life, Dang. man, life." So what like, did you call about? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Does he know what a prenup is? You know what a prenup is? Yeah, that's sixteen. Nah, what I really called the show for is to spend my balls. We got that. We got that. We got that. But we need you to participate in the show. So you want it one sided. You use us, and we'll use you. What we really called you in 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 front it and act like we wanted you to spit the bar so you can call (laughs) it. What we really wanted to do was was be a part of the show and answer our topic of the day before you spit them bars. So all right, let's let's start this over. How about you ask me this question again? Okay, so listen, so. If your mother married your father, right? Your father was a billionaire and they married for five years and he ran away with no money. Would you have wanted him to do a prenup to where your mother gets 60%? Well, he gets 60%. No, he got the money. He got the money. He married my mother. See, it's different when it's the mother, but when it's like it's just you and your relationship. (laughs) Everybody want their mother to get some of that bread. It seemed like that's when the dynamics (laughs) changed. I don't care. My mother was with that buster for three months. She She got two daughters. Okay. You feel me? I mean, I would want my father to get paid too if it was on, if the shoe was on the other. You know what I mean? Like, but it's now over. It's equal though. It's equal. Yeah. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, who you calling from? I'm calling from the bird, New Bird. PA. Nah, New Bird, New York. Oh my bad. I don't think I got a New Bird. Oh, New Pittsburgh. Bird. Newburgh, <laughs> Newburgh, stand up, my bad. Look, I ain't good with the map. I'm from North Bridge City. Huh? Up, upstate that's upstate? That? I don't know. Where is it? Yeah, Newburgh, I never heard of that. Above, above New York. Yeah, it's upstate. No doubt. So listen, you could call in 1030. Above New York? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, above New York. <laughs> okay. Ain't that Connecticut right now? Yeah. What the? So listen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> listen, 1030, we going to let the rappers call in the spit live. We got your boy. Do you make paper dunk records? Reese Chubbs in the building. We got Chinks Drugs calling us. So make sure you tune in, man, and check out what's going on. We moving out here, man. Time to ground radio. Let's go, Dre. One, two, three. Boom. Shout out to everybody in the chat room. I see you, the fly boy. Wait, what up? What up? What up? TJ Eastwood in the chat room. What's up? They said BT slipping. They trying to find any way to stay relevant. What? Do not fall before we get there. We need to be on BT next year, baby. Hold on, BT. We coming. Nah, nah, coming. We coming, baby. Do you make paper records? Let's go. Ow! Boom.
for the roll call. Hit me on Twitter right now and I'll shout you out, you and your state. Let's go. You're now walking with Big 7 and friends on Time to Grind Radio. If you don't grind, you don't shine. New exclusive Bottom music on, let's go This joint is alright Let's go, bottom music, what up? Starsky, I see you, homie, let's go This that new exclusive. Bottle music with up, Starsky. I see you. This joint call, all right. Moving out there. Twitter roll call. I see y'all on Twitter right now. Shout to GLO from North Carolina. Shout to Ricardo from New York City. I see you. Shout out to Slate Lucas. Slate Lucas from Florida. Slate Lucas. We moving, Slate Lucas. I see you, homie. One two one two. I was like, did I read that right? Turn this thing up a little bit. Yeah. For those who've been wondering what's going on with Joel Ortiz, it's a lot, man. A lot. Feels like I finally found my house slippers. My mind was going, I stood around them. Twitter road car rocket, shout out to Tony Aline from PA, I one see two, you. One two. Shout out to I'm the man from Little Rock, Arkansas. What up, Bill Clinton, hometown, let's go. Twitter road call, hit me right now on Twitter. I am Big Seven, let's go. We moving. One, two, one. Shout out to Big Six, <laughs> Big Six, these days one, tonight, killing me. Shout out to Big Six from Detroit, Michigan. Big you ain't see your cousin in a long time from Detroit. I know you Michigan. You hey. feel me? Let's go. Do you make paper? What it up? Hey. Twitter roll call. We moving. Shout out to Tootie Ruger. That's a guy, girl. One, two, one, two, one, two. Tootie Ruger. New Orleans, stand up. Turn this thing up a little bit. They got these names tonight. Yeah. We moving, man. Twitter roll call. Hit me right now. I shout you out every tweet. Call, you let's go. Seas. Shout to Scorpio from Brick City, Leslie Street. What up? I s- Brick City, what up? Feels like I Let's go. My house slippers. My mind was going. I stood around them. Wearing this poker face like I'm holding aces. That so wasn't the case. This business is such a business. Don't take it personal. 
It's more than these beats and letting verses go. Don't end up locked in and wildin' like a deaf person buying a Shout to the kid Frank from North Carolina on the check-in to the road call. We moving. When it's gone, feel like nothing can replace it. Shaking the hand that's feeding you, but you hate it. Disappointed in me is cause of your weight. Just imagine this man with your career in his hands. Giving a fuck about your fans. He just looking at that black and white. Seeing you ain't sell too well. You trying to tell him that you was on an indie that wasn't acting right. He don't care. Them numbers fed up his appetite. Your past just fed you twice like a hermaphrodite. You watching the twins. Shout out to Eric T in Ohio. Ohio on a check in. I see you, homie. We statewide. We worldwide. Let's go. Time to ground radio, baby. We moving. It's leaving out of venues like he killed that show. Screaming yow everywhere, but you ain't own that, though. Your loved one sick all in the midst of this Watch your mom shoot insulin is ridiculous Your son got a mask on his asthma bag His older brother acting up cause he don't Y'all know what it is man Last shout out on that Twitter roll call Shout out to uh, Pluto Kid out of Memphis, Tennessee We moving So as y'all can see we just gave out like What 10 shout outs from every different I'm surprised Brick City made it in the day They usually be late on the check in I'm gonna do some more shout outs later on But let's get into our special guest model in the building Co-hosting the day with us. What's going on, Mama? Mm, not much. Looking not real much. sassy. Thank you. You got my uh my corner ambassadors on the left and right, looking real like they shaking their legs on the left and right. <laughs> Jesse and Walter Bird over there. Tomorrow. We can't wait till we take the pictures. You from Brazil? I want to get close to. Her. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. You from that's Brazil? Sweet. No. Oh, okay. Actually, not. Nah. Okay. Where you from? Let the people she know you from. Just wrapped in the World Cup. Okay. Uh, no, I'm from, that. from Queens, New York, but I live in Jersey. Just see, a, a lot of y'all New Yorkers, you feel me? Y'all get it popping, and then y'all gotta come move to Jersey. What's up with that? Y'all gotta come to Jersey. Yeah, yeah. It's a good look. That's a good look. So look, Stunners Magazine. Yeah. I seen you in that joint. Looking real sassy. Jesse ain't see that joint yet, but he want a copy of that. <laughs> how could he get a copy of that? And how did that come about getting down with the Stunners magazine? Um, actually, I was in uh, Atlanta, and I was hosting um, with... Um, oh, God. I forget his name. I'm sorry. Hosting with... <laughs> I'm one of my managers and um oh, you got a I, couple managers well, you moving well, yeah you need another one you getting it like that i want to be the third one <laughs> you feel me yeah i was um helping him out or whatever hosting and um i ran into uh solomon carter uh he spotted me and he wanted to do a shoot on a spot and after that it was it was over he just took wow. me under his wings wow with all due respect to Stunners Magazine, straight stunting, the magazine I'm with is number one. So they moving, they doing their numbers, so your next big move gotta be getting in that straight stunting. So no disrespect to Stunners, but straight stunting magazine is killing all of them out there. Every last one of them that's in our lane, we moving heavy. You know what I mean? So we gonna get that together to get the pictures to K Slay, you feel me? So what other magazines have you been in? Undiscovered magazine, um, um, Stunners, uh, Sub Zero. Sub Zero is a little salacious. They, I listen. I seen you on that Stunners joint, and I'm gonna keep it 100. Sub-Zero. You had the Pokemon going on, like you was, was <laughs> yo. You had the the Pokemon. I was like, and now you know, I don't be like, I. I don't be flirting with the girl. I mean, you got the staff and all the other girls that come here. It be Walter Bird and Dre to be the one like trying to push up and get numbers. I be the one like laid back and reserved. But I seen that that shot. I was like, what the? And then I showed Dre. He was like, yo, get on the show. Get on the show. Get on the show. He was like, yo, I want to sit next to her. He had to be Uh, the DJ today. He mad. Yo, I know. Dre. That's he gassing. He gassing, Dre. He gassing. I need to listen to him right now. I'm thinking about something else because he do this all the time to me. I just want to know. Don't, don't. Hey, whatever he say, just. Yeah. Yeah. Just. I, I, bet you, I bet you he can't stand up and go to the chalkboard right now. Yeah, I could. I'm good right now. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Dre. Can you please go to the board and answer two times two for the, the, for the rest of this now. class? My foot sleep. Oh. <laughs> all right. Anybody else got any questions? Look at everybody on their phone. Jesse over there, like, hold up. I want to ask for the number, but I can't do that online. <laughs> no, I'm just, but hey, listen, all our viewers and wait, listeners wait, all over. Wait. No, no, I'm just Bella letting them know I was joking. What she got coming up, though. We already know who's up. We want to know what's coming up. <laughs> wow. Dre is up. What you got coming up? Now, I'm turned off right now because I'm mad about that soccer thing. So, that whole thing. 
Yo, I wish this World Cup would be she over. Should have had a USA on. Yeah. Right? She got rocked that next time. I'm upset about that. I'm not mad. But that do look good. Oh, you wanted to see that? <laughs> she got the Pokemon right now. Can you, can you please stand up, Mr. Hold up, hold can up. You, can you get up and do the, the turntable oh, you like standing up? You like I the can't control shot, my huh? mic. Like That's slingshot. slingshot. <laughs> you like the slingshot, huh? Oh, my God. Oh People, we're going to give you a shout out later, man. So real quick, before we go to this um, Trash of the Blasted, what's like the number one thing you want to do right now as a model? And if you don't say straight stunting, K Slade will not get them new pictures. So it's a, it's a trick question. No, but listen, I wanted to do straight stunting from the beginning, and you know that. I came to you and I told you. So straight stunting. That's, that's, and once that's again, that. not to put stunners on blast, but <laughs> when when straight stunting move a little too slow because we got a lot going on, stunt, stunners, stunners sneak in and swoop up like the ones that we was taking too long for. So that's so you know who popping and who winning the most out here straight stunting. Shout out to K Slate. That new issue yeah. is on stage right now. Matter of fact, before we go into Trash of the Blast it, I got to show the audience a couple of the Pokemons. This is the official Pokemon that got Dre kind of at <laughs> like like um Chinese arithmetic or roller quarters. I like it in person. I got the peanut <laughs> in the car. <laughs> That's one picture right there. I think you missing the one that the one that I seen. Oh, it was it was crazy. That's that's you. Look at Dre. Look at Dre. He had to touch the needle and like get it straight. He was shaking. He was like, yeah, trying to get the next record. <laughs> trying to get it straight. I see you, Dre. Okay. We got another picture. That's that one. That's that too. It's another one that you had on your page with the Pokemon. Dre would have been like DJing with the. He would have had a third. <laughs> this say? is a family show. It was too much. <laughs> People who sign prenups watch this. <laughs> but it don't. <laughs> you right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> That's why the phone ain't ringing. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this trash of the blaster. Y'all know what it is. We got the boy Trink Chinks. Um, Coke boy gonna be calling in in a minute. We don't Change know where they'll be calling right? from. Change so um, name though, right? yeah, it's just just Chinks. Just, just Chinks, chinks man. Just Chinks, but he Coke boy. Yeah, feel me. No doubt. So we're going to get into this trash of the blast it. We let the artists send us the music from around the country. Um, we play well, around the world. One time we had a dude from, um, what was he from, Uganda? Uh, he had enough respect. He was somewhere. I thought he was from Nigeria. Nigeria, somewhere. But we then we trash it. The hook was dope. So let's get into this joint right here we got on the trash of the blast it. Um, and let us know what y'all think. Go in the chat room or call us up. It's our trash of the blast it. Song of the day. Let's go. But I kept it 100, no need for alibis Was born in the exotic community Where beautiful women are always granted immunity And it's a damn shame how it ruined me Given opportunity, 
intimate sessions between you and me Living in the city where many niggas fall off Where girls get top dollars for clothes they take off Right before we took off to her downtown loft I was massaging her thighs, her skin through her cloth Her skin so soft, it's turning me on I'm probably the way I feel when the burning be on Baby, we on, bumping nates, never leave me alone Clearly, you can see that we gone Girl, what paid you on? Got me feeling some type of way with the news on Turn me on Shorty kinda short but her legs looking long She looking so fly so That's why she caught my eye Don't fuck with the average guy So I must be Alright let's go baby Trash it or blast it And it's time this is where we keep it real at So first of all I wanna look in the chat room and um, shout out to everybody on the Twitter checking. They crazy today with the uh, shout outs. I got y'all a little later, but we need to know about this uh, trash of the blasted record. I want to start with our um, our special model guest today, trash of the blasted. Keep it on it, huh? Hold up, okay. So let's do the uh, the count on three on trash of the blasted. So when I say three, we throw it up. One, two, three. Trash it. Trash it, trash it, blast it, blast it, trash it. We got four trash hits and two blast it. I, I can't count. It's four, right? It's four trash. It's six. It's two blasted. Oh, we got four trash. <laughs> what the? Four trash. Four trash is two blast it. You know, all the blood Rick, isn't going five, to his five. brain right now. It's somewhere else, so he Yo, just can't count. Just let it go. I'm going to keep, keep, keep it 100. <laughs> about 15, 15 seconds into the record, I was ready to throw my trash up. Until the dude start rapping, it saved it a little bit. Like, I just wasn't really feeling the energy of the record. It was like, it seemed like it should have been on one of them. Maybe them Jamaican independent movie soundtracks. You know what's funny? I'm Jamaican, so that's why I put up the blast. It. I went back to the island real quick. I was like, hey, Jess, what you thought, baby? I don't understand what I'm big into production, man. I like the production. So you like the production? Always, yeah. So you're a son. You got the number you call him. Prince Street Records. You're a son. Yeah. I like the production, He blasted. Bro. He didn't say it he signed so him. <laughs> I like the production, man. So we got five trash hits and three blast hits. So one more trash it is out the building. We ain't playing. Dre, you want to make me the... I already know what Dre going to do. Let me take a caller right quick, because I like to get the callers involved. Yeah, caller from the 267. It. Was you feeling that new record we played from Jamaica? It had enough respect. Booyaka, booyaka. I'm... Caller from the 267. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Who's calling? Where you calling from, bro? Uh, this this breeze, man. This breeze, this breeze. I'm with my boy Mel right now. You know what I mean, you know what that's what's going on. Where you calling yeah, from, bro? Huh? Where you calling from? Hold on, let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. You got what, what's going on? Oh, is he serious? Where you calling from, bro? We we in Philly right now. We he what's this Run DMC? You who, who, you got his phone, so you got to make sure you plug him in and everything you say. Right, 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 right. <laughs> oh, wow. No, no, no. no doubt, no doubt. What up? You know? What's going on? What's good? So, you got, what, what, you got bars? Like, you what's going answers? on? Yeah, I got bars. We got plenty of bars over there. Oh, okay, bars. Y'all sound like y'all do. I'm ready when you are ready. Keep them bars till 1030. Listen, 1030. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> we got your boy Chinks calling in. We got Dump Records in the building. We got Philly Zone, Reese Chubbs in the building. You in Philly, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we got Reese Chubbs in the building of Do You Make Paper Records. Shout out to Uncle Daddy in the building. I hate saying that name. That made me feel like I'm one of your girl fans. <laughs> Uncle Daddy in the building. I'm going to just start calling you UD. UD in the building, baby. You feel me? Listen, you can spit at 1030, so call in 1030. All right, we got and your boy uh, Chinks about to call in, man. Let's, let's keep it moving. Give me some background music. Ah, I hung up by mistake. So y'all know what it is. Uh, can we officially say that was trashed? Yes. That yeah. was trash. I was going to trash it. I like official it. trash. Please, trash it. Um, you can send us another record, man. You you can, you can uh, exactly officially get another record, man. We, we ain't feeling it. So let's go, man. Your boy Chink's gonna be calling in a minute. We hit Time to Grind Radio. Call us up. Let's go. Give up about your 
Tommy Brown Radio, you live on the air. What's the word? Hello? Tommy Brown Radio, what's the word? What's going on? This is Big Chase Manager. Big, what's going on, on Playboy? Y'all ready for him? We ready, baby. The world waiting. All right, hold on a second. No doubt. Hello? Hello. Is this is this Chinks? Is this the Chinks? Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Let's give it up for Chinks. <laughs> Time to grind radio in the building. Yes, yes. First of all, I want to say congratulations on all your success. This your man Big Seven, host of Time to Grind Radio. I want to say congratulations on all your success and that hard work finally paying off, my brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. No doubt. So listen. CR4, the mixtape, feelings, right, what is feelings, here, couple hitters, couple hitters. At what point did you know you was that man? Cause we've been watching for a minute and we seen your your grind. You played the back while French did his thing up front, and then you you just blew out the world. When did you know that you was that dude that people was really starting to mess with? On a on a commercial level, because I know you had the streets already. At what point did you know that you you had the the, the commercial side popping too? Well, my mother told me. She told uh, me this a long time ago. This was ordained. Already predestined. I hear that. Wow, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I actually seen you down in um Jersey at um what was that the uh terrace ballroom? Yes, sir. With you and Scarface and um Mano, man. And I what I really appreciate that you still did your thing. It was about 100 to 200 people in there, but you ripped it like it was a 10,000 people in there. You still held your own. Got on that stage. I think you went up there solo. You ain't have 89 dudes in the back. You went up there by yourself and just held your own on some queen stuff, man. Salute to you, man. That's good money right uh, there, bro. Oh, no, no, no. They was there. They was just in the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, yeah, definitely. I always got to do that. It don't matter how many people win the venue. I'm still going to put on like this 10 million. You know what I'm saying? Just for the fans. Everybody that supported from day one. That's dope, what's up. Dope. Chinks, this is Aaron Kelly. So, I want to know. Up, Aaron Kelly? Hi, how are you? <laughs> I want to know what made you drop the drugs do after the chick. At, do you listen? I have a question for you. <laughs> yeah. Are you as pretty as you sound? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I do say so myself. She's beautiful. <laughs> She's beautiful, man. Thank you. Right. So, uh, what made you drop the drugs? Well, off of Chinks, not drop the drugs. I mean, that sounded mad crazy. <laughs> what made you change your name? Was it political or just something you wanted to do? Well, number one, number one, I don't sell drugs no more. I ain't sold drugs. In Good about boy. Years. Salute. Uh, Let's give it up. Okay. He got out the yeah. street. Salute. And, uh, salute. Salute. And, salute. And two, mo mo most importantly, is just business. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like endorsement. You know what I'm saying? Sponsors. Yeah. Things of that nature. Just trying to be one step ahead of the business. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. Well, good decision. Good move. Okay, so Chinks, this is Walter Berg. Um, what well, one question? What what is your affiliation and relationship with French Montana and the Coke Boys, and how did that come about? Tell the people. Um, French is my brother. I met French, you know. I met French uh, at Max D's crib, free Max D. Um, you know, my brother, my brother Ty Black introduced me to Max D, and um, you know, I basically met French and Max D pretty much through my brother Stack Bumpers, rest in peace. And on um, that, that's how the whole Coke Boys thing came together. So when I came along, you know what I'm saying, Coke Boys like really turned into a group. You know what I'm saying? But I was already doing my thing with the Riot Squad. And, you know, we just made an extended family. So we, we, we big out here in the streets now. No doubt, my God. So you was originally from that Riot Squad? Yeah, all day. Still. No that's never going to change. That's what's up. Miss Bella Vixen. Hi, Chinks. This is Bella the Vixen. How are you? Yo, how, how many people is interviewing me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't talk about five different people yeah. already. <laughs> we got Kelly. the lovely ladies in here with us, Chinks. Yeah. We it's had like, to have some like, ladies for yo, you, man. It's like, 
like, yo, this like an OG, like. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> this is shit going on there, like. <laughs> It's a verbal orgy. Well, we got a we got now, a couple hitters now, and then now, we got a couple now, sisters now for you. Yeah, you already right. now. I hope the ladies are as good as looking as they sound. Uh, <laughs> and we, we well, like, yeah. well, if you this conversation up much. a little bit, this shit dead. Like, hey, that's, that's, what's up? That's some real shit. <laughs> <laughs> go go. Okay, well, I want to ask you, um, who are some of the artists that inspired or influenced you to want to become an artist? Who are some of the artists that influenced and inspired you to want to become <laughs> your artist, to become the artist oh, that right, you are? So, um, definitely, um, it was you know Nas, uh -huh. his first album, uh -huh. Nomadic. But before that, it was N.W.A. When I was a little kid, my uncle left a, a cassette of N.W.A. Okay. at my grandma's house, and that was the first time I heard like explicit lyrics. Wow. On, nice. Um, now I'm gonna say I'm so I was like, wow, you can curse like this and like sell it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that was my first time hearing rap and actually wanting to, you know, mimic what I just heard. Wow. wow that's interesting, that's nice. my brother. Nice. NWA. Stand up. That's interesting. Let, let me jump back in and turn up, man. I'm watching World Star and I'm seeing some young cats tomorrow. You can't come to Queens, you can't come here and there. Let the people know, can you go anywhere in Queens you feel like it any day you want to? That's never gonna change. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Shit. If you go go look at that video again, you'll see I wasn't nowhere in the fucking footage. I number didn't one. see you. And number two, I run for a rock away. Number three, all hell stacks by me because we do it for the big homie. And I'm out here every day. I'm still in these streets. Now I'm just doing music now. You know what I'm saying? And we yeah. keep it real humble, but, you know, if shit needs to get cleaned up, we got a whole bunch of invisible men that come through there and just, you know what I'm saying? But we <laughs> keep it real positive, too. That's what's up. No That's doubt. No doubt. Like, I feel that, my brother. Now it's always some haters right. out there, brother. When they when you're doing your thing and you're successful, you're always gonna have those brothers out there that's trying to bring you down. But I, keep your head up and keep keep making that that good music. Walter, like oh, let me talk. I want to talk to right? chicks though. Like can the girls talk? Can the can the, can the ladies talk though? Why do guys know always want to talk? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chinks. This is Adriana. It's very, very nice to speak with you. But I really want to know about this mixtape. Like, how did CR4 change the game for you? Um. I wouldn't say it changed the game for me. I think everything that I'm doing as a whole is, has changed the game for me. You know what I'm saying? I wake up every day and I do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It, you know the saying, if you stay in the barbershop long enough, you're going to get a haircut. So mm -hmm. if you hang around millionaires every day, what's going to happen? You're going to turn into money. So, exactly. yeah, I'm, just, I'm just facing. I'm just watching the big homies like Prof and Rose. Like, guys, it's my mentors that give me a lot of advice. I'm just taking the first steps and advice they give me. So it's only right that you know, I, I come up on you know, my just do. You know, one of these years in 2011, you dropped one on my birthday. I should have copped it. But what I want to know is, when are you dropping an album? Um, I'm working on my album. I'm working on an album every day. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, since I first started doing music, I would say any real artist has been working on his albums the first day he started. You know what I'm saying? So you see me hitting these, these clubs, and I'm all, I always keep a single out on the street. Now, I write other people's records, too. You know what I'm saying? So... When it's time, see, I haven't signed a major deal yet because I keep turning everything down. Uh -huh. I'm just trying to make sure the situation is, you know, the best for me. Mm -hmm. Right now, I think I'm sitting on a good situation. I, basically, I want them to turn money up, and that's what they've done. So, you know, probably around the full time when I go on tour, you should be uh, hearing some more information about who I signed to. Okay. Do you... Oh. So, tell me, Chinks, I know you're going to be the best man in that wedding, man. French Montana. Chloe. <laughs> Tell us about it. Shout out to Chloe, shout out to Kim, everybody. My sisters calling me, the moms, you know what I'm saying? The, the sisters, the, you know, the two younger ones. They, they real down to earth, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate having them around. They're real fun people to be with. And, um, of course, man, whatever my brother's doing, I'm supporting it. That's what's up. No <laughs> doubt. So we, we got a lot of unsigned artists on the check-in as well as um, uh, signed artists. Do you got any advice for these up-and-coming artists to get to where you at or any tips for them? that can help them get to the next level or anything to watch out for in this crazy industry, uh, man, trying to come up? Um, I would just say just be yourself, you know what I'm saying, and just follow your gut, definitely, and don't suck no dick, man. Just I know that's know. right. Oh, Keep it 100. Try, don't try to make it, you know what I'm saying, don't sell your soul for a little don't bit. Don't sell man. your soul, that's right, baby. Wait down, it's a lot. That's right, Jinx, I'm behind you, 100. No doubt. It's EK. Chinks, I, I want to know right now. I want you to participate with our topic of the day. I need to know, how do you feel about prenuptial agreements? And why do you think people have such a big problem with it? 
you go to my gift shop. Hello? How do you feel about prenups? Uh, I mean, it, 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 it's like this. Like, I can't, you know, it's different for different people. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you've been down with yours from day one, from the start, you have pretty much built things together, then it's always right for you to go a certain type of way. But if someone has nothing to do with, for instance, if I, you know, I just met someone now, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all my success and my money. I don't think that's entitled to anybody. You know what I'm saying? No barriers, no piece of paper should say that you get half of, you know what I'm saying, what I grinded for. I think that's absurd. So, basically, I got to sign a prenup. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just got curved, you guys. <laughs> you just got curved, that's bad, huh? so, so, listen, chicks, we know you got a busy, a busy schedule. You out there moving. Um, you working on the album, the mixtape popping. I even seen the bootleggers out there that bootlegged your joint. I seen that on the Instagram. That's how you know you moving, man. When they got I you in the poppy stores, you know what I mean. And and, and, we, and you ain't eating off yeah. it, man. But we know you got the busy schedule. Before before you go, we need you to do a drop for the station. Time to grind radio, Big Seven. However you want to put it in whatever order, and then we are gonna get into this couple couple hitters joint that's out there ringing bells. Ah, uh, you said time to grind. And Big, big seven. seven, yeah, no doubt. Big Seven or Big Seven? Big Seven, B-I-G, Big Seven. Big Seven. No doubt. All right, cool. You ready? No doubt, let's go. All right, yo, it's your number one coke boy, Chinks. You always see me with a couple niggas. Keep you your feelings in the crib. Time to grind, Big Seven. Yeah, you know that. Let's yeah. go. Y'all heard it, man. Let's give it up again Thanks, for the boy, Chinks. Chinks. In the building, number one coke boy out there making noise, doing it for the East, man. Queen, stand up. Let's get into this couple hitters. Yo, salute to you and your manager, Biggs. We appreciate y'all. One love. We got y'all on rotation, man. Let's go. One love. Let's go. Y'all heard it here, man. Time to grind radio. Your boy Chinks just called in on the check-in. Very aggressive at one point. He's like, yo, it's time to look dead. <laughs> the streets came out of He's like, oh, well, let's take it to the beat then. You feel me? You know, we were trying to be a little nice. I guess we thought it wanted to turn up. So, how many googies you had last night? Like, what the hell? Let's go, man. It's couple hitters. Your boy Cheeks. Let's go. They gonna say a couple hitters. Got a couple problems with a couple new. Tell my hitters, grab a couple hitters. Hundred deep inside the club. Now the fucking got a problem with a couple hitters. Keep the burner on me, fuck. Only reason I don't Cause I made it. Front of, front of. Bottom rolling okay. with a couple hitters. Snub no mask in the glove. Like Take a shot, shit ain't never gonna happen. Like trying to see what's cracking with a blue. I'm all in tears, sweating blood. Headshot, paramedics come and get you. Y'all know what it is, man. We here, man. Time to got radio. Call us up. 646 Bank, The wind got it. Flights ain't the same. Digging different pilots. Whole lot of chains. Digging different wallets. IG laughing at digging comments. Teach him how to shoot. Digging drinking numbers. Shorty need a ride. I'ma give him mileage. Is on the mind, she gon' get the knowledge yeah. Smoke a lot of loud, but you taking time I think I'm Diddy, I run my whole city I front on it, again Pull out the Phantom, the Rari, the Lotus The Aston, Bugatti, and Stun on it, again Only, again, ain't it, again With me, tell her, come and give Come on, I'll be right here with a couple hitters I'll be right here with a couple, again Get a couple million Always see me with a couple hitters Getting money with a couple hitters Burning up the spot The club, we made it, hell yeah Couple hitters, got a couple bottles Got a couple switches Couple bands, got a couple, got the whole block sewn up. Ask them who it is, they gon' say a couple hitters. Got a couple problems with a couple new. Tell my hitters, grab a couple hitters. Honey deep inside the club. Now the fin got a problem with a couple hitters. Keep the Coming up next, we got New Jersey's own dope records in the building. Cause I made it. Front of, front of, bottom rolling with Reach Charles Philly, stand up. Whipping that yay to the morning. They on me. Wasn't well, gon' make it. make it. That's just what they told me. I ride with that photo. Uh, this life it costs, and I can't afford uh, it. Told y'all we bowling. bowling. Don't f with them lines. Uh, lines. Y'all know they recorded. Uh, rolling with the top down. top down. Pull up and we shut the whole block down. Block down. If it ain't by the dollar, not now. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is honored from the top down. Top down. Cold boy fresh, we can track down. Right if you can get it cheaper, you can shop right. Yeah. Now I'm in the You're with now walking rap. with Big Dude, Seven and Friends on Time to Grind Radio. If you don't grind, you don't shine.
it all in a day. I did it all in a day. All in a day. I did it all in a day. I did it all in a day. All in a day. I did it all in a day. I did it all in a day. All in a day. I did it all in a day. I did it all in a day. I'm on like shit. I ain't worried about them. Be cool, make you bury your friend. Two girls, I'm a dick, let them roam my big cash, no 20s at 10s. One call to the bed, I'm moving all in a day. Pray to God, don't get lost on the way. I move so much weight, I count me a case. The police, that's all I'm gonna say, but shit. Look at them rims, look at my wrist, take a look at my. The car just parked, cost three or four bricks. A pack talk from me, I don't need to say shit. Yeah, I blow brown bag money. Go hard, they don't have no money. Broke, get mad. If they don't bring cash, yeah, then I act all funny. But back to the pack dog. Big burn be really in the trap dog. Let your man's no will do the whole thing. We don't let the half go. Cash up front, yeah, that's man though. I got a problem, all I do is ball. 40 cal Glock, make your homeboy fall. Been around the world, I came right back. 24 hours go. Let's go, we gonna take one call before we bring in the boy. Do you make paper and his whole click out there moving, man? Let's go to these phones, man. Cut it down a little bit, Dre. Call it from the 504, I think this the Nolia. What's up, Wody? What's down, what's down, homie? What's down? Oh, yeah, this sound like Baby or uh, Lil Weezy. What's up, Wody? <laughs> it's, not, it's poetic. Baby calling from New Orleans, you hear me? New Orleans, you hear me? I heard you. I think I heard you. Speak up a little bit, Wolo. <laughs> it's, it's just poetic calling from New Orleans, you hear me? New Orleans, stand up, man. How can we help you? You live on the Tommy Ground show, my brother. I was trying to get the little ball and you know, fit the little verse, you hear me? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you sure this ain't um, Baby, man? A Birdman Jr. Know, like that. <laughs> Yo, we all y'all sound is like <laughs> word is boy. Like they say us North can sound the same. We don't hear it. I guess y'all can't hear it neither I I in New Orleans, but I hear it clear as day. You sound like Birdman. I'm thinking he about to do the Birdman call, man. Well listen, we letting call us call in at about 10 30 though, man. It's spit live. So hang out, man. We got the interview with your boy um Dump and his whole click. Do you make paper records? Reese Chubbs is in the building. UD is in the building. I ain't saying to Uncle Daddy. I don't what he say. <laughs> Phil. Huh? The great yeah, Uncle oh, man. <laughs> The great Uncle Daddy. Add the great. So listen, call in 1030, man. We're gonna put you live on the air, man. And you can spit your 16, all right? All right. No doubt. All right. all right, for sure, Wody. <laughs> Wait, from New Orleans? Yeah, from New Orleans. New Orleans on the check-in heavy. Yeah, no doubt. That's the fest gonna come up, bro. Yeah, no doubt. So we told y'all, man, we bringing the artist that's popping in our area, that's popping, um, that's coming up in the music business, that's doing it in the music business. I saw Super Grunge. Y'all see we had the boy um, Maino the week before last. We had your boy Chinks just calling. We moving, man. Time to grind radio. BKS1. We moving out here, man. We appreciate that love, man. You feel me? We got the girl Vela, the vixen in the building. Looking extra hey, sexy hey, mama. with the po look at no he got the peekaboos no like soon as I said that and I said the pokey man he was looking up then he went down I'm like caught him the pokey no doubt make sure y'all mics on man we about to bring the boy so ladies and gentlemen without further ado we want to introduce y'all to Jersey Zone do you make paper Records, dumb records in the building. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Do you make what's good? And he got his artist, the one and only from Philadelphia, Reese Chubbs. Let's give it up for Reese Chubbs in the building. What's going on, fellas? What's the word? What's, 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 what's cooking, man? What's the word out there, man? Just came back from um, LA from the BT Awards, you know? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so y'all moving like that? Yeah. Well, I went with Oh, make, sure man. Microphone. make sure your microphone on. <laughs> make well, make sure it's mic on. Yeah, yeah, it's on. It's on. Came right back for you, forty. Wow, this this is a beautiful look. I'm 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 very very excited to have y'all in the building. And for some of y'all who don't know, Dump Dump Records been around for a minute. He been grind. He got like twenty or better in man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let you let the people paper. know what made you want to start Dump Records from the gate. We need to establish that, man. What made you want to start that Dump Records, man? Cut it out, man. You want that? He want that pat on the back. Go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> <say it. laughs> hold on, hold on. He made that. He came out with the name. Nah, we, you know, uh, we've been serving since we was little kids, so yeah. Sam with that pat on the back. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. You know, we've been doing this, you know, about twenty years. You know what I'm saying? Me and Sam. 
definitely grinding. You know what I'm saying? Great, all of us. Who's Heavy. The, the Newark Illustrated uh, yeah. Dump Records affiliation. I know about it. Was... I know about it. Dump used to be my hype man. We shut down the yeah. Billboard yeah. Awards. Yeah, it's yeah. all going down. Yeah. I'm still mad about the Billboard Awards yeah. though. Yeah. I pay eighty dollars for parking there. What was that? Yeah. Two thousand and what? <laughs> or was that ninety? Ninety nine? Wow. Ninety eight? Wow. It had to be like 98, 99. Had Tretch in the building. We made the front page. Uh, front. Daily News with that joint. Daily yeah. News. We was moving. Yeah. That's when I was little seven. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah, I, don't, I don't think they know that. They don't know. Especially <laughs> Walter Bird. He don't know. We, need, we probably yeah, need to school we, Walter Bird, man. Fact, I want to see that paper. Hey, matter of fact, look. We going to find out what you said. We got some real fans out there, right, Dre? This we going <laughs> <laughs> to get some money away today. If somebody could tell us said record that you used to play on the radio, his first record. My oh. first record. Only first record. We gonna give y'all a couple dollars. A couple dollars. A couple dollars. If you make the number out, they gonna call from North. We we gonna get them. Let me see. We gonna get fifty cent because I thought I was fifty cent back in the days. Uh, nah, we gotta get more than. No, that's fifty dollars. That's that's fifty dollars. We gotta get a hundred dollars. Alright, that's cool. If you tell if you calling and tell me what was my first record that played. On uh, it wasn't no Hot 97. BLS. It was BLS, BLS, BLS and Kiss FM. I was 13 yeah. years old. My first record. Call us up right now. And definitely, I'm gonna put. Where, where we gonna put the money at? We gonna send the money in? Yeah, we gonna we gonna let them come in. If they don't come pick it up, I'm gonna keep it. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> they too far away. No doubt. Meanwhile, <laughs> while we waiting for that caller, who might not know, right cause now. the old heads ain't tuned in, man. We got the young bucks tuned in, man. Yeah. They like, man, I don't know. Yeah, he has my mom. They don't know, Lil Sam. They could Google it though. I was gonna say, they Google it right now. I'm calling for hundred dollars. What was what was Big Seven first record that was on Kiss FM? And what he telling y'all? Meanwhile, we got Dunk Record first artist that's popping off in the building let's give it up for reese chubbs again man reese chubbs is officially in the bll den moving you already know let's get into that before we get into anything about you i had a bad dream we need to hear that right now man them bad dreams because that record got me thinking about when i was moving them things because i was moving them things too bro <laughs> you feel me and i know you got a real interesting story man behind you man story this is your man. struggle no doubt let's get into this new single of dump records Bad dreams. Reese Chubbs, let's go, man. Chat room, let us know what you think of this joint, man. Let's do it. No bad dreams. The video crazy, too. Go to YouTube right now to look it up. Stop that right there, Dre. Let me tell you. Yo, all my street cats out there, this is that real street stuff, man. And I know y'all watching the camera. Y'all seen it whipped out that honey. I see y'all calling in from Newark. I think we're going to ban Newark callers, man. <laughs> Nobody from Newark can win it. We need some out of status, man. Let's get back into this record, man. Bad dreams. Reese Chubbs, Philly, stand up. I see Philly can win because they don't know. Let's get it in right now. Time to ground radio, man. Call us up. 616-233-1302, let's go. Ow! No bad dreams. Can't wake up. I'm so scared. Let me, let me tell you about this dream I had the other night. Feds knock me off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night. Feds knocked me off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head great. My heart beating fast, should I go or not? Plug called my phone and told me that the price dropped. Now what you gonna do? You trying to make the move? And if you put it in the water, will that thing lose? Wrong question. What I should be asking, why this nigga on my phone doing a bunch of rapping? Greedy for the deal, I jump in my wheel. Head pounding like a drum, yeah, you know the feel. My eyes blurry, Lord have mercy. Feds catch me doing this, they gon' give me dirty. My bitch told me no, but I still went. Stomach hurting like a cramp, I gotta take a shit. Let me. <laughs> 
<laughs> we was wildin' off that far right there. Go to datpiff.com and download that mixtape right now. 96 months. Let me tell you about this dream. Reese Charles Philly, stand up. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night. Feds knock me off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. I felt the vibe. Trailing plus the feds telling He bout to pull up any minute Y'all can start surveilling Bags on the back seat Black Jeep Ball shorts and in ones look like an athlete My mind said no Stomach said yes I'm at the bottom of the block Ray make the left I pulled up to the corner Then I double park Soon as I jumped up out the truck I seen a bunch of knocks Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night New exclusive, Reese Chubb. Download that joint on that piff right now for free. Go to iTunes and download that single for a dollar fifty. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night. Feds knock me off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. The knocks hit the truck, found that five money. Got me feeling like Patricia when they killed Sonny My line set me up, no, can't be My suspicions was confirmed when they let him free They pat him on the back, told him good work Then they took the tape recorder from underneath his shirt They pushed the play button, had me so stuck Put the cuffs around my wrist and then I woke up Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other night. Feds knock me off with a brick of white. Let me tell you about this dream I had the other day. Swear to God, man, it's enough to make your head gray. It's that new exclusive, man. Let's give it up for the street joints, man. Storytelling rap. A lot of a lot of these rappers ain't out here telling those stories no more. And that's why I really took a liking to that record, man. So once again, we got the boy Reese Chubbs in the building. Dump records. Yes. Um, y'all got y'all got a nice a, a bang on y'all hand, man. I seen the video too. The video was real official, man. You already know. Many more to come. No that's doubt. Definitely many more to come. I like your vibe. You mad quiet, too. but when that mic come on, you go into character like, mm, yeah. I need this money, baby. He goes zip it to a honey real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. So I want to know, what are some of your earliest memories of this music or with your music that you've been doing thus far? I mean, you know, I'm just coming home from doing eight years. So. Damn. Say what? I've been home five months now. Okay. He just came home. He, oh, you he said eight, eight years? Eight so, years in prison. Eight so years. Six months. So, wow. wow. That's why the mixtape called home. 96 months. Welcome home. Wow. Welcome you, home, and, you came, and you came home to your dream. Came straight home to it. Did you record? Wow. Did you record before your incarceration? Was you yeah, recording? I was recording since I was a kid. Okay. I got kind of sidetracked when I was a kid. I was in the street, running real hard. Yeah. Went to prison. You know what I mean? Got back focused. That's what's up. And That's how good. you hook up with Dump Records? Because you in Philly and he knocked Brick City for life. I'm talking about the gut. We. From two blocks over, baby. So how y'all hook up? Me and Dump with Sellies in the feds. What? Wait, hold on. What? You, you put you from Philly, so you know the homie <laughs> AR Ave and all them. Yeah. Oh, alright, that's what's so up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all was, talking, y'all was talking this money stuff when y'all was in there, like you gonna get this money. <laughs> hold up, you know what? Because a lot of people be fronting in jail, like you meet a cat, yo, I had the block, so I was da da da, and they be lying. What? At what point did you know Dump wasn't like, you know what I mean? Because people be in jail acting like, because they figure you might not never find out that right. they ain't really had a yeah, bins. Right. They was just the, the little man who used to bag up or something. They wasn't really the man of man. At what point did you know he, he wasn't playing no games? I mean, you know, Dump was always official, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know a nigga got paper. Shit, put a thousand dollars on this nigga books, five hundred on this nigga books. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know when they got money in the face, so, you know so, what I'm saying? Comment So at that point, you was telling them, please do not change my bunky. Like, I want to keep that. <laughs> this nigga be my bunky for the rest of the thing. Because you have a lot of leftovers of everything. 
with you. Yeah, like, two days. Part of my city, like, you're right up. I'm going to take this plea deal. But I, I, you won't give me another 10 years. I need you staying here with Dump. I do an extra. I do 11. You let me stay with Dump. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. So you out here moving, fresh from jail. Like, that's that's a dream. A lot of people come home and. and Don't do and nothing. Nothing. And, and I end up going back within the first two years, right? right a right, lot of people. Right, six months. Right, Statistically. Right. Mm-hmm. right. So you out here moving. BT Awards. Videos, Rock Davis, like months. moving. Yeah, yeah so just we just got finished shooting a video uh, like last weekend with Rock. Another video, ah. for the second single. Like I'm trying to stay ahead of it, you know. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Second single off the mixtape. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. So, what is your aim in the industry? So, Are you, you going know, against the grain, right, or you going with the right motions? Now, right now, I'm just staying, you know, independent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Records. I've been like this, you know, for the last 15 years. They got to come with that real money. You know yeah. Yep. Definitely got to come yep. with that real money. We already got paper, so yeah, <laughs> it ain't it ain't about the bread. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It definitely ain't about the bread. Like we ain't starving, no, man. We eating good. So you far, I didn't gain about twenty pounds since I've been home. You still eat like he in jail, right? Yeah. So listen, so it ain't. Do you make paper? You asking them, do they got paper? Because y'all already yeah. make paper. <laughs> you right. feel me? Do y'all make paper? We make paper. <laughs> no, no doubt. No hey, doubt. Hey, Philly hip hop deep, bro. Who was your uh, influences coming up, man? Hip hop. No, Will Smith. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got okay. Biggie Smalls. I see the storytelling as far as the Will okay. Smith. I kind of see how you picked up, you know, something from him. Cool C was cool. Cool. I love Cool C. Okay. West Philly. Yeah. Yes. I look up to Marvin Gaye. It really started from okay. Marvin Gaye. My mom played a lot of Marvin Gaye in the crib. Barry White, Luther Vandross. Luther. He said Luther Vandross. We from 